winner of the 2023 Tila New Zealand Architect New Home of the Year is Barry Condon of Condon Scott Architects. Situated among the vineyards and rocky outcrops of Bendigo and with views over Lake Dunstan and towards the Pisa Ranges, this home is designed around two floating linear planes. Consisting of the floor and roof, these planes extend beyond the boundaries of the walls to provide sheltered outdoor spaces. The surrounding arid landscape and elevated site called for a home that allows for full enjoyment of the uninterrupted views in all seasons. The glazed northwestern aspect of the home provides breathtaking vistas while these walls can slide open in the warm, dry summer months. Inside, the kitchen is clad in dark stained timber which continues down the interior boundary of the house. This creates an internal box which then forms the walls of the bedroom and second lounge. A smooth heated concrete floor creates a subtle base for the home with a materiality that carries through to the outdoor terraces. Similarly, schist is used inside as well as out, adding grit and texture to the sleek architecture of the building. At the rear of the house, a schist wall with tall, narrow openings provides glimpses of the mountainside while also giving privacy to a second outdoor entertainment area. The Tita judges were impressed with the way this home sits in perfect harmony with its surroundings, with a form that conveys a sense of lightness and delicacy. Congratulations to Condon Scott Architects, winner of the 2023 Tita New Zealand Architect New Home of the Year. Tēnā koutou katoa, my name is Barry Condon from Condon Scott Architects in Wanaka. We're very honoured to receive this award. I'd like to extend my thanks to Paul and the TEDA team, particularly the jury. I know it is a big commitment on your part to review all of these projects and it's very much appreciated. I'd also like to thank the client, Andrew and Sonia. Stage one of this project started just as we were going into the first COVID lockdown. They were based overseas at the time and they placed a great deal of faith in us and the build team to deliver the project. So thanks, Andrew and Sonia. I'd also like to thank Tom Hudson and his building team. They did a fantastic job on what was a very challenging site. We dealt with rock breaking, freezing fog, snow, 40 degree, degree heat. They took it all in their stride. So well done, guys. And finally, I'd like to extend my thanks to my team in the office, particularly Fred, Richard and Mel, who all played vital roles in the project. Thank you for all your hard work, team. As always, it is greatly appreciated. The house itself is located on a rocky western vineyard uh, high over Lake Dunstan. The Pisa Range is to the west, and the Bendigo Hills and the Dunstan Mountains are to the east. It is a harsh and unforgiving landscape. Very cold in the winter, very hot in the summer. Uh, what, one of the standout features of the site is the extraordinary panoramic view of the Pisa range. Uh, and our biggest challenge was to try and capture this vista from every space in the home. This stunning landscape changes constantly, depending on the time of day, the season, time of year, etc. The client was seeking a very clean and minimal form, so we distilled this brief into a ground floor plane and a roof plane that effectively frames the view top and bottom, but it's open at either end, giving the observer an unobstructed view from one end of the valley to the other. We lifted the roof plane to three meters to ensure the tops of the mountains weren't cut off and the mountain range was visible from every space. The idea was to create an open pavilion that appeared to almost float over the rocky side. So once again, I'd like to extend my thanks to Paul and the Tita theme. Thanks very much.